Hey everyone, it is Shar from Shar's Fashionation, and this morning, it is morning, oh, I can't see, <laughs> let me grab my glasses, I can't see what the time is in the corner, it's 8.38 in the morning, I needed my new glasses, aren't those nice, look, those are nice, aren't they? I love the hinges on these. They sit nice. I mean, they've gotten a little loose skin, but hey, that's all right. It's all right. Um, so I'm going to do something I haven't done in a while, which is look. Now my sponge is damp. You don't need this overly wet. I did clean it as much as possible. I, as you can see, I need to wash this. Um, probably right after. I do this look. So the first thing I do is spray my face with the moisturizer mix that I've made from the products from Sin City Soaps and Candles. Um, which I will leave a link somewhere for them. Um, probably up in here and then in the description box. And also leave my code for 20% off your entire purchase on a non-expiration code SHARS NATION 10 all in caps okay so anyway the first thing I always do when I do a look I'm not really worried you know this is a lip plumper and it's by L by Elf Cosmetics. Never a sponsor, but hey. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes, like, if I feel like I need it, I'll take it around the edges so that that kind of... This is a beauty tip. Now, sometimes this can make your skin red, but you're covering that up anyway um the lip plumper actually fills in like a collagen around the eye and if it burns a little it's because i believe one of their ingredients is cinnamon and it will do that to the skin so just kind of pat that in when you do this now when i hadn't done that a couple of times then it turned out red, and, but I was still all right. It was just the product. And then I use the other end of it. Oh, I forgot this is the broken one. I have one that's broken and one that's not broken. I'll see if we don't use our cosmetics for a while like these. They tend to break. Oh, I know the faces we make, right? I'm going to put makeup on. Now, next week, I'm looking forward to my first Slay Glam box. Look forward to that. Fashion and beauty go together. In case you want to know, it does. You know, Jeffree Star had a live on Instagram last night. I, I was in the chat of that. He was saying that his own mother had to hit him up for toilet paper. Oh my gosh, isn't that horrible? Like, what's wrong with the world? It's the flu. And then I just put this on. You know, actually, the, um... Surgeon General posted there's a, there's a video it's just the news media hasn't bothered to give you the whole video Ooh, but I watched the whole video it was in a news conference and he says it's a lesser active strain of the flu and not to panic. Now people have gone into panic mode. Don't go into panic mode. 
I mean, come on, Jeffree Star's own mother had to ask him for toilet paper. Because, you know, hey, that's wrong. Now, it only took two pumps of the Believe Cosmetics on here because I don't require a lot. And I'm not going nowhere. I'm just doing a look just to get back in the swing of doing looks. You know, I haven't seen Honey Bee post in a while. Where are you at, girl? Or maybe they just cut me off from watching your channel. I don't know. I'm just saying, I haven't seen you on lately. Oh, and then I noticed that they wanted to try to scare everybody and say, oh, it came from a bat. And what's funny about that is... It's been 30 years since Ozzy Osbourne bit the head of a fake bat off. That was actually a fake bat. And I noticed they want to say that this came from a bat. Well, HIV supposedly came from a monkey. And now they're trying to say that this glue string came from a bat. Really? Really? How bad is that? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I could have been doing this for my Instagram, but I chose not to. Some people are getting a bit vicious on there. Um, okay, and then all of you know, I always, like, line my eye right in the water line. Now, usually when I do this, I'll take it around like that, and this will help just to brighten the eye. And then brighten it right there. And then just bring it down your nose. Don't be afraid to do that, by the way. It helps to contour the nose. Yeah. You know, it's been a while since I've done a lot. In like more than a hot minute. And like I said, I'm just trying to get back in the swing of this because once a month we'll have a beauty box coming in from Slay Glam. So I'll be slaying that glam. And then whatever doesn't suit my taste um, I'll either give to someone or do a giveaway actually I already have a friend that she um, she hasn't been on YouTube in a while family thing you know family things came up so she had to take care of that first you know and that should be priority I still have not heard if my son and his family are out of quarantine on a ship. My son was quarantined. So it's his wife and children. Oh, let me like tame that part of my hair. Oh my gosh. Just like I said, you know, I'm black and I'm Native American, but like this right here, I don't know if you could see those curls. Like, I'm always having to try to, like, straighten that out. And I have my hair back in a bun, but it don't bother me. And 
it don't bother me to have my hair back in a bun. Um, so since this is, this is just going to be for my YouTube. I'm not doing this for both YouTube and Instagram. Later I'll do something for the Yellow Dress Challenge again. I have that one pocket almost completely on there. It's almost completo. Only sp speak, oh my god, only speak a little Spanish and then I almost started speaking some Native American tongue. Um, I did. Uh, since this is the only eyeshadow palette I have left in my collection, that is it. It is LA Colors Day Tonight. And seriously, all my other in the trash. These expire. These do expire. So I'm going to go on with this one. As you can see, that one's gotten a lot of love. Now, I usually just go like this. Don't be afraid. Yeah, don't be afraid to do that because, you know, back in the day, that's what we used to do. Um, let's see which one do I want to go in with. Um... This one right here next to it. Char is not completely out of practice with makeup. Every once in a while, I'll sport a look just because I feel like it. You know, you don't have to be going anywhere. Just put on a look. Make yourself feel better during the day because you feel like it. Sometimes that just makes you feel better. Um, then what I'm going to do is take the black, which as you can see, that has a lot of love on it too. Yeah. I just shape my brow. That's what I do. Um, because I have a lot of problems with mascaras. I don't know what it is. Now, Jeffree Star knows that he's going to be doing his own brand of mascara his own foundations so he has a lot coming up this year hmm I might need to redamp from that for some reason that went dry um my gosh I was reading this morning on Instagram through the comments when, like, Our Lady of Slay Glam posted something, right? And just, like, people came out the woodwork and start, you know, bash on her. Please, back off from her. She just had surgery. And she's been in pain. Be patient. Don't be greedy. Greedy is the worst thing you can do. It's not good for your soul anyway. That's right. Sure, I'll tell you that. Trust and believe. That's right. I just took my eyeliner right here. A lot of people won't think about using your eyeliner like that to uh, put the white right there. And then you can just blend that out. I'm not flipping people up. You can just blend that out with your finger. Um, and here's the other thing I really have to laugh about. Okay, the hypocrites on the the news stations. Like, how much more crap can they make up? How 
how much more crap can they just falsely make up to try to scare the masses? I'm going to use my, here we go, my e.l.f. felt eyeliner. Now, I do like this one. I will tell you if the cap comes off, it dries out. And try to always have it upside down. That way it goes where it should and not where you don't want it. use my mirror for this. I'm just so used to having a mirror when I do this part. And as you can tell, I'm just doing the light look, like makeup, no makeup. Now I had bought this at the Rite Aid for $3. And that's not bad, $3. Okay, here's the thing. When it wants to just be dry like that, what it... I'm forget it. <laughs> and if it is dried out, then forget it. Oh, there we go. line it like that. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I just did it very like thin. Thin line. Nothing. you might be like yeah but you're an artist you can do this stuff yes I am an artist um I thought about you know like sewing hand sewing a little bit more today and then maybe in the next couple of days when I feel like it or after I'm done with that dress I might do a painting how about that how many of you would like me to teach how to paint something leave that in the comments I have a lot of painting to catch up on. And I've been saying that, but I really do. I know I might look a little more rested than usual. Oh, thank freaking goodness. Something beautiful is happening. And, uh, Also, leave in the comments, how are you doing? How are you holding up through everybody's debauchery of going nuts? And... No, I almost thought about making some jello just to make some jello to have something sweet. <laughs> There's no pork in it anymore. I don't get like what if. People think there's still pork in it. There's not. Educate yourself. Let's bring that down here. Now this is a look I generally do anyway. If you guys have been following my channel long enough, you know I just basically take it to about there. And that's about it for my eyes, really. I This went dry. It did. It went dry and I'm getting tired of wetting it. Just to get that on my face. Um, does anybody remember like back in the day doing your face only took maybe five minutes and you were done? Five minutes or less, you were done. Maybe that's because I went from military base to military base and 
when I was allowed to wear makeup, you had to do it quick or you had to do it in the car. Basically, that would be my look for the day. Other than one other thing, which I haven't grabbed. And no, it's not a lipstick. Let me put my glasses on. My allergies are acting up. No, I don't have the flu. It's just normal allergy. It's an allergy, I think, to that eye makeup. Because if you keep your eye makeup for too long, it'll make your eyes water. And that's when you need to get rid of it. If your eyes start to water after that, pretty much it got to go. Oh, did I forget? Right there. I think I did. Anyway, that's taken care of. Um... You know what I don't want to see on Instagram? I don't want to see people attacking the owner of Slay Glam. Don't, don't be attacking her. Like I said, she just had surgery. Y'all are like the ones that are doing it. Shows you greedy. Anyway. This is not a lip color, but it is a product from Sin City Sips and Candles. This is their Candy Apple Lip Balm. And their Candy Apple Lip Balm, I really seriously enjoy. They have many other scent flavors. Um, it's really lovely. I will say that I enjoy their products because they make delightful products and oh yeah I didn't tell you what was in my spray that I mixed up so my spray that I mixed up oh my hair see what I mean like I have to deal with like this poof in my hair and that's just when, like, I wake up. Like, my friend that, you know, I live in his house. Um, I got him up early for a doctor's appointment. And, uh, he's a military veteran. And, uh, we gotta think of our men and women in uniform, no matter which uniform they wear. Always be nice to them. Never be mean to our men and women in uniform. Try to always be nice. I mean, if they're nice to you, he made sure I have a roof over my head and not living on the street. Booyah, there you go. See, now that's a good friend. Now, what I am using up in my misty spray. See what I had to do? I had to spray that and it's still a bit iffy, but I don't care. Um, is, well, let me reach back here, this is just the body butter of it, this is the apple oak, I had mispronunciated this in several videos, I do apologize, and to go along with that is the matching apple oak, um, body uh let's see this is the sugar scrub in this I put that in my little bottle with some water mint to shook it up and that's how I made my hands Danny how about that because I don't want a bunch of rubbing alcohol on my skin because that dries the skin. Has anybody ever thought about that? Think about this. I used to be like the hand sanitizer carrying person. And then I started reading ingredients. I want you to all think about this. 
read the ingredients on your hand, Sandy. The only thing that you're doing is Tell me how you like this with my glasses, because I'm kind of digging this. Um, and I don't got nobody either, so, like, I'm kind of digging this look. Um, and I'm not even going nowhere to get nothing today. I'm having day three of my St. Patrick's Day leftovers today. <laughs> uh, well, that's later today. But, um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Oh, the hand sandy. Read it, and then figure out why your hands go so dry. It's because you're rubbing, just rubbing alcohol. It's rubbing alcohol. It's going to dry out your skin. You can get chapped or chafed from that, using too much of it. Now, I'm not trying to scare you away from using the product. I'm just educating you on this, okay? Then there's the difference between good bacterias and bad bacterias. Oh, and why do we have uh, mites on our lashes? Okay, we have microbial mites all over our body, okay? They're so teeny tiny. It takes a microscope to see them. Um, and they're there to generate good health. So every time we rub our eyebrows or our eyelashes or our face anywhere, you're actually like, there, I'll, I'll just show you that. You are actually smushing some of them and then they have to repopulate on your skin and some people are like ew no 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 okay good bacteria versus bad bacteria we all have it it's good it's fine you're supposed to have a certain amount of bacteria on your body anyway Um, and the reason that we have that is you're like, well, why aren't you using your hands, your hands, Annie? Well, it's right here. In case I want it, I have it. And it smells good. It's just three things. That's it. Just three ingredients. Not a bunch of hydrochloric acid it's not a bunch of um, rubbing alcohol, benzite dextrose or dextrose benzite, which benzite is basically a zinc product. And I'm telling you this why I'm wearing periodic table pants. There you go. Um, <laughs> so periodically speaking, um, I want everybody to remember that part of your health means letting the good bacteria generate in your body. That way it defends your body when there's anything going around. Now, I think this kind of health talk with even doing this is probably pretty good because the Surgeon General did put out, like I was telling you, um, in a news conference that this flu virus, it's a flu virus, is less dangerous than any other just normal strand of the virus. It's not going to hurt anybody. And if anybody bothered to pay attention and stop your panic attacks. The only people that it really, and this is just normal, just like the normal flu will attack people with low immune system, um, and the elderly, maybe a few kids, but you know, hey, watch your babies, because their immune system is still building up. 
their baby. Um, so you have to give that time. And you, do you understand why we moms never took our babies fully out in public for too long when they were first born? Okay, it's because um, you shouldn't do that. You have to let their immune system build up before you should be taking them out and letting oodles of people breathe them by your kid. Um, that's the truth. I'm doing a native thing. It's kind of like taking my fingers through my hair like that. Um, just, you know, we never really took our kids out to people's places. Never really took them out in public when they're first born because you have to wait so many weeks until you take them for their shots. And why? That way they wouldn't get sick and die. That's why. Does that make sense to you now? I mean, serious. Does that make sense to you? To me, that that makes sense to me. Uh, see? Semi combed out just with my fingers. <laughs> I'm looking kind of like Morticia, but with glasses. Um, so, yeah. I really want people to think about that. Like, don't be thinking that you need to go buy up all the toilet paper because we're waiting for that to restock. Um, let's see, Wawa's hiring, the Acme's hiring, and why? Because a lot of people have just plain called out of work because they didn't feel good and now they're low on staff. Um, now that they're low on staff, they need to hire some temporary and some full-time. Check your grocery store as heck if you've been looking for a job. Go check the stores that are hiring. Walmart's hiring. The Acme. The Wawa. I'm pretty sure you got a 7-Eleven or a Circle K that's hiring. Um... All sorts of distribution places are hiring. Um, Fabric Mart. You guys are awesome. Even though you're closed for the next couple of weeks. You know when the 14 days is up. Then I do understand that you will be open for business. Um, and they're still doing their thing on, in May. I'm glad because, you know what, I want to go. I'm going. Viv Mom, I will see you there and then I'm doing some shopping. <laughs> like I said, just let that one thing be under the bridge, girl. No hard feelings. Um, just let that be under the bridge trying to get the really thickest part of my hair back here. Like, ever notice that, like, you get bedhead and it's all, like, right there. Like, like she's brushing her hair with her fingers. Yes, I am, indeed. I just don't believe, yes, I am. So, anyway, this was my quick makeup, no makeup look. So you notice I did not put anything in the tear duct because my allergies are acting up. I really think it's just that eyeshadow. And here's the thing. Sorry. Like that part of me is coming out, you know. No, I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm straight and narrow like Hunter's Arrow. But, um, these expire. So remember, when you open one of these, on the back of everyone, where is it? I believe that, ooh, my eyes watery. On the back of every one of these,
one's not it. Da, da, da. Anyway, on the back of your makeup somewhere is an expiration date. Yeah, I can see it better with the camera. Oh, there it is. There it is. You see that right there? That is where your expiration date is. That little thing right there is your expiration. It tells you how long it's good for. I don't know if that's going to show. But anyway, that right there tells you how long your cosmetic is good for. Which, by the way, means this needs to go in the trash. Last time I'm using that, um, I did clean out a bunch of makeup. Like, even these, um, will have, I gotta clean the lid on that. Um, these also have an expiration date. Which I'm gonna say, you know, you probably have to peel that back to see the expiration date. Which is probably where it is. So, somewhere in all of this is your ingredients and probably an expiration date. And uh, if you did not realize that you can actually peel that back, that's what it's for. And then you can just lay it flat again. It's about that easy. So yeah, all of our cosmetics have some sort of expiration stamp on them. See, right there. Then the only reason that I like this is because you sharpen it and then it's clean again. Think about that. Sharpen it and it's clean again. If you've used this, it's the LA Colors. Yeah. Um... Look at that. Okay. And it's, you can blend this out if you want. Not that, not that I need to on my hand, but it's blendable. And I do like that about getting the white ones for my waterline. As you all know, I just used to do the black eyeliner and let it be. Since I've been using this, I love, 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 love this. Now, I don't, I don't get enough black eyeliners. Of course, I will have a beauty box coming. And I hear, I've seen the sneak peeks. And I'm not going to ruin that for you. <laughs> no. I might have to hold off on watching Anne Rankin. <laughs> that if I say like slay like I'll watch it after I do my video girl and I promise and the same thing goes for uh <laughs> abdabs we all three live in Jersey um I haven't met up with them in case you guys want to know um I just like watching their content now I've I still forgot to put Abadab's video in my video. I'll do that one. You know what? Got that solved in a ticket. Um, I'll put it on when I'm doing my Slay Glam. I'll put her Slay Glam on when I'm doing my Slay Glam. How about that? There you go. There you go. And then I will put her link somewhere and in the description um tell me what you think about my new glasses i'm i'm like and i'm kind of digging this look i don't know like oh you guys want to see something funny <laughs> and this is from instagram i will show you something hilarious and this is something Shane Dawson came up with. Now, this is my face. I was do goofing around with something that he made. And it takes you from, like, looking at yourself sitting on a bench with your device to looking at yourself as the planet. 
<laughs> Isn't that hilarious? That's hilarious. Shane Dawson, you're hilarious. I mean, your face is also, like, right here. That's my face. I know my eyes look Asian lately, but we Native Americans get mistaken for being Asian. But I don't have any Asian blood in me. Oh, Rocco just texted me. Here we go. Yep, now it's panic time for Bob. Oh, his cousin. Oh my gosh, yeah. His cousin had a panic attack at the grocery store yesterday. So please keep in mind, older people tend to get panic attacks. And, oh my gosh, how old is his cousin? His cousin's in his 70s and had a panic attack in the grocery store because he couldn't find anything that he needed, like toilet paper. Look, y'all, stop. Like I've been saying, you gotta stop. And look, these elders also have what they need. He can find bottled water. Okay, the water in the keys is fine coming from the faucet. But the whole thing is, he wanted bottled water for his dog, Sasha. Um, and also, he'll drink a bottled water during the day. You know, you gotta keep hydrated. Um... Oh, and by the way, hydration is also what keeps your skin. Like, I'm 46 years old. I should be having a butt ton of wrinkles by now, but you know what? According to my fake birth certificate that was given to me by the old lady that raised me, well, she didn't give it to me, I had to order it. Um, she gave me false information and um, so I ordered it and I sh I'm supposed to be 51 according to the fake birth certificate but then she flew booed told me my age and I'm actually 46 so when she told me my age I was 44 at that time wait no it's been longer than that yeah it has it's been longer than that I haven't dated that one guy in a very long time. I haven't dated in a very long time because I have a trust issue. Sorry. It's not happening. I'll stay celibate. <laughs> Char's a celibate woman. Um... <laughs> And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not ashamed to be celibate. If you don't know what celibacy is, it's the opposite of being a hoe. <laughs> That's right. If you're single and you don't mingle, you're a celibate person. And there's not a thing wrong with that. Better than being sick. Um. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, you also saw my hair go from being a hot mess to looking like this. Now you know you never really see me with my hair down. So, like, gosh darn it. Oh. Anyways, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. I'll see you next time.